So Cassie, how uh, how do you feel about your race today? How did it go? I am so stoked. I had a less than stellar start, um, and for the whole first lap, I couldn't feel my fingers, but I don't think anyone could feel their fingers because it was pretty cold. So I just kept pushing harder because I knew the harder I went, the warmer my hands would get. And uh, by like lap three, I started picking off people with, on the fourth lap, I knew I was in 12th. And I was like, oh man, top 10 is like right there. So I just kept digging, kept digging. And we caught up to, Jenna and I caught up to Courtney McFadden. And then with like one lap to go, I caught Jenna on Heckler Hill. And I was like, yes. And then I got by her. And then I could clip in my foot and she got back by me. So we like went back and forth and it was an awesome battle because Jenna and I have been battling all season and it is so much fun racing with, you know, people that you know and you know how they ride and it's like they're consistent. So we're like good friends. So it was great that it came down to like a little battle between the two of us. And um, I managed to get her on the bonk breaker hill and I knew like if I got ahead of her there, I just had to stay smooth to the finish and like hammer that last straightaway. And, uh, I did, and it was awesome. I can't believe that I got a top 10 at Nats. It's like the best ending to an awesome season, so I'm super happy. Great, uh, yeah. so after a top 10 and uh, the sense of accomplishment, what's next? So now I'll get ready for the road season, which I'm really excited about. Um, I race for the Stands No Tubes, Vail Classic Cycling Women's Road Team, and uh, I'll do some mountain biking this season too, um, and just get ready for cross again, you know? So it's all about building up that base and then getting ready for cross come July. So I'm excited for next year, for sure. Great, good yeah. to hear. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.